how did you become such a good science communicator? And also, did you find, do you find that there's any sort of stigma within your profession about being somebody who talks really well about it? Totally. Uh, there is totally a stigma about it. And uh, yeah, they think well, you must not be very serious about the research. I think especially like mathematicians and computer scientists who are traditionally awkward kind of people. I say that as one of them, right? Um, but it's it's a place where like socially not communicating well is really embraced as part of the identity. And so then to be able to like go out and talk about it, I think a lot of them go like, oh, well, you must not be very serious about that. How did you learn how to talk about it in a way that people who aren't computer scientists can understand? I think I've, I have always liked public speaking. Like I, in high school, I was on like the speech team. I, I really enjoy talking to people. Um, I'm definitely an introvert. So it gets really exhausting, like doing small talk at parties, but, uh, being like on stage or even, you know, talking to the media where it's like in these sort of spaces, it's like an amazing way to connect with people and get that sort of feedback, which I'm sure you have experience with this too, right? Like you get a real energy if you're in a room talking to people and they're responding to the thing that you're doing. And so I think I just liked that a lot. And then also I was a computer scientist. And so I just said, yes, anytime anybody asked me to come talk to them about things and wasn't concerned with, saying, here's all of the little technical details of everything I do, but like, let me give you the gist of it so you kind of understand. And so it just brought me to this place where I practiced a lot, essentially. I just said yes to everything. And so I did it all the time and um, was happy to take feedback and, and try to do it better. And, and so ended up at this place. I just think it's so important for scientists to be able to communicate their work. Um, one of the things that Alan Alda um, teaches scientists communication skills, and one of the things they talk about is knowing your audience. And I think whether that's if you're talking to a classroom of fifth graders to try and get them excited about becoming a scientist, or whether you're talking to Congress to try and get funds allocated for your research, um, these things are really massively important. Um, and they're about communication skills. And it's not just simply about collecting the research and interpreting the data, but um, about being able to communicate it in a way that that research and data can have an effect on the world. And so thank you so much for being so wonderful at it and for being so brave. You're an introvert. I, it's not a natural position for you to be in, I think, to be here and talk to us so well. And I just really think it's wonderful and um, you're doing such a great job. This is super fun, thank you. <laughs>